The rooster's crow barely cut through the pre-dawn hush as I strutted my trusty Harley Davidson. The Singapore skyline, usually a canvas of glittering defiance, was still veiled in the drowsy grey of a post-pandemic world. Today, the city wasn't still in glass. It was a gateway, the gateway to the long-awaited right north. The border had just reopened and the thrumming of the engine echoed my own rekindled sense of freedom. Fortunately, the motorcycle lanes were less busy and within minutes, I was in Malaysia. It's been a while and it's good to be back. I headed to a nearby petrol station to fill up the tank and meet my cousin Ashik and his son Salahuddin. The plan was to ride to Sedali and stop for lunch and then ride through Desaru on the way back. It wasn't really a long ride, but it's a start. A trip to Johor Bahru is not complete without visiting Roslin Briani House. They serve the best Briani in town. But unfortunately, since we were early, the Briani wasn't ready. So we had to settle for something light for breakfast instead. Breakfast done and off we go.
As we left the city, the roads transformed. The organized chaos of traffic lights give way to the hectic dance of motorcycles and cars on a single lane highways. Highway stretched like a ribbon towards the horizon. The open road wasn't enough today. As we veered off the highway and turned into Sadidi Bazaar, the colorful village emerged like a secret whispered by the palms. Not far from the town, there was a lookout point overlooking South China Sea. The beaches are filled with black rocks. Here, the South China Sea was on a shimmering postcard. It was a force of nature with waves splashing against the dramatic storm battered rocks. A taste of the raw, untamed beauty that awaited was a perfect reminder of why we rode. Day, we reached the town. Sadili Bazaar is a charming coastal town located in the Kota Tinggi district of Johor, Malaysia. It is a fishing village known for its laid-back atmosphere, stunning natural beauty and fresh seafood. Renowned for being a fishing destination, you can rent a boat and embark on a fishing trip or simply join the locals at the numerous fishing spots along the bank of Sungai Sedili Bazaar. The afternoon sun found us at the Sidi Libsar Mosque for a moment of peace, a pause to reflect on the simple joys of the journey.
Sentry followed a different path. We cruised through Desaru, a popular tourist resort that seemed oddly subdued post-pandemic. Then came the majestic Sungai Johor Bridge, a steel serpent gracefully arching over the white Johor River. The Sungai Johor Bridge is a part of the Sanai Desaru Expressway, which provides a vital transportation link between Western and Eastern Johor. The bridge stretches a total length of 1.7 kilometers, making it quite a long structure. The most impressive part is the central span that crosses the Johor River itself. This span measures a whopping 500 meters, which was the longest central span for any river bridge in Malaysia when it was built in 2011. The two main pylons that hold the cables are each 143 meters tall, towering over the surrounding landscape. The bridge has played a role in boosting economic activity in the region by facilitating easier access to Desaru, a popular tourist destination. Overall, the Sungai Johor Bridge is a remarkable landmark that showcases Malaysia's engineering prowess. It not only plays a crucial role in connecting communities and promoting economic development, but also provides a scenic passage for travellers. Task settled, we crossed the border back into Singapore. The ride had been a discovery of the simple pleasures, the thrill of the open road, the majesty of nature, and the quiet hum of normalcy returning to a world reborn. <laughs>